Every now and then, I think you hear uh, media descriptions of uh, chaos or frantic and annoying scenes and all of that kind of thing. And they ah, they're, they're sort of putting jam on it. In this instance, there's no jam being put on it. This is queues in Dublin Airport running all of the way outside the terminal building that are lasting so long that people are seeing their flights leave while they are still outside the terminal building. Now, if this was the first instance of this since the return of travel, you could kind of say, well, OK, maybe they got blindsided. You know, it ramped up unexpectedly quickly. COVID dissolved, or at least our caring about it, dissolved slightly more rapidly than we might have thought. And therefore, sure, it could happen to a bishop. Thing is, that was six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, these problems all happened to Dublin Airport. Everybody got up in arms. Dublin Airport put their hands up, said, yes, this isn't acceptable and we are working on it. And a number of weeks after that, I remember talking to one of their uh, spokespeople and him saying, yep, we are now on top of it and things are moving along, probably not quite as efficiently as we would like, but we are uh, managing it. And then suddenly we see scenes like today where there are reports of uh, kids crying in the queues, people waving boarding cards, demanding to be allowed up to the flight that they know that they are now missing. And three, three and a half hour queues and Dublin Airport saying we're going to compensate people, which is going to be an interesting task, given that in some instances the people didn't even make it to the terminal building. So how do they know who they are to compensate it? Worse. To add insult to injury, it wouldn't be so bad if this was maybe October and you thought, well, November is a fairly quiet time for travels. Could your heads down if we make it to Christmas, we'd be all right. But we're coming into the June bank holiday weekend and there will undoubtedly be a rake of people who have tickets booked and are now not even looking at a situation like they were looking at six weeks ago where you could say, well, I'll go three hours early and worst case scenario, I'll have chips and pints at seven o'clock in the morning until my flight eventually departs. In this instance, that may not be enough. So a lot of very concerned travellers a lot of very concerned holidaymakers. What are the chances of Dublin Airport actually getting on top of it?